Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And today, one more video about budget. We have a series of, of videos about budget. They are all in our video descriptions. Today, our topic is capital expenditure budgets. Uh, when we talk about capital expenditure, what does it mean? It means that we are purchasing or selling fixed assets, especially property, plant, and equipment. Okay, so this is how we deal with that. And we need an Excel file to do that. Uh, here, as you already know, if you are irregular here, all our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. However, here, we don't have a lot of math to do here because they are all given numbers. So we have beginning balance of these numbers and then how much we purchase or sell. If we sell it, we can do it with a negative number or uh, we can do a new one here about so one here purchase, the other one here selling equipment. No problem at all. What makes you feel more comfortable. However, we must separate here uh, between our fixed assets because we use this uh, sheet here for our depreciation. So if we combine a lot of different assets here, it will mess our depreciation later, especially for instance, if we combine equipment and vehicle and buildings, uh, they have different useful lives. So we will mess here. It, we will not be able to calculate our depreciation expense. So pay attention here. That is the uh, advice that I can tell you about uh, being clear about the assets here. But we don't have a lot of math here. It's usually we... Uh, copy and paste our given numbers about purchasing and selling our fixed assets. Okay, guys, so only take care. And we use these numbers here to find our depreciation expense in our operating expenses and manufacturing overhead. So even if we have the same user for life, we cannot combine off a production fixed asset and non-production fixed asset. For instance, office equipment and manufacturing equipment because we need to split our depreciations in operating expenses and manufacturing overhead. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. So please subscribe our channel like our Facebook page, and also like this video, please. And guys, have a very, very nice day, and God bless you.